Before digging a basement under our house, we had to make sure two things wouldn't blow the budget. Bad soil under the house, or asbestos in the walls or flooring. We scheduled the soils test first. Here's me rocking a mullet documenting the process. So we have soils testing going on here where we're drilling a hole in the yard to see what the soil is gonna be like. Had to have the utilities located. This was as close as they could get because we've got this big boom. They can't get under power lines or under the tree. So this is about as close as they could do it. Still get an accurate soil sample. The drill they used was a lot bigger than I expected, but it was pretty fun to watch. And I was able to get the soil engineer to show me what expansive clay looks like from another project that he had. Basically, it looks like a bar of soap. And you can see it's like a weird olive gray color. You kind of see it, it's kind of a weird color and it's harder. Yeah. But a lot of times when you get water to it, it's moderate to highly expansive, so the soil potential is high. In other words, expansive soil is no bueno. While testing outside was going on, the other concern was inside the house. Our house was built in the 1950s, and to make room for the new stairs, we have to move some walls. And that meant checking for asbestos before any construction starts. Someone came out and scraped samples from the house in eight different places, and sent them to a lab for analysis. Fortunately, didn't have to wait long for the soil and asbestos test results, and both came back negative, which meant no abatement, no delays, and most importantly, no major budget increases. Getting these results was a huge relief. Although they weren't cheap, 600 bucks for the asbestos and four grand for the soils test, but those are not things you can skimp on on a project like this. But for the first time, it felt like we were 100% moving forward. With the tests behind us, it was finally time to start getting permits, which in Denver, unfortunately, means hurry up and wait.